All right. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chan, so much for accepting our invitation, uh, despite the very short notice and a lot of challenges that you face. But we know that you are an expert on this area of renewable energy, especially, you know, in teaching kids at a very young age what is renewable energy through your exciting range of products and uh, educational programs that you have spent design. So we're very privileged, uh, boys and girls, listening to our webinar today on the topic of understanding renewable energy with solar and wind turbine kits. Now, this is something quite interesting. We have had a lot of uh, such programs at our Stanford All Maker Space, and Mr. Chan and his team of uh, students, as well as uh, facilitators, teachers have come and done these wonderful workshops. But of course, now we can't do such workshops at our center, as well as uh, any other place. Therefore, we told Mr. Chan to show us some of his programs that he can tell us how this is done and maybe later on we can also do it uh, online or when things are back to normal we can do it physically all right so a quick introduction to mr chan uh, mr chan is the general manager of brainnet malaysia sandirian Barhat, and this company focuses very much on education more specifically on education relating to stem and one of his expertise is actually on renewable energy he will show us later uh, some of the kits or STEM kits that he has, uh, you know, that he can use to teach. Uh, he has been in this industry for over 20 years, right? So those who are listening, pay closely to, question, uh, to the presentation by Mr. Chan because there will be questions posed. And uh, the questions will be posted at the Facebook at the end of this session. And the first 10 who get all the five questions correct will stand a chance to win some very interesting prizes from Daman as well as from STEM for All Makerspace. All right. So with that, can I pass the uh, space to Mr. Chan to, to give an introduction of what he does as well as the topic of renewable energy. Mr. Chan, to you. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Chan from Brandnet. Uh, thanks, Ramesh. Thanks, William, and all the back end there. Hi, all the students, guys, children. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Can, yes. you, uh, can you on your camera? Ah, yes, very good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can. Can. All right. Okay. Hi, guys. All right. Okay. Now, uh, without further going, uh, I will keep going into the show, my PowerPoint slide, so I guide you through on the, today's uh, subject on the renewable energy. Right, my name is Chan. Uh, we are in the uh, uh, specialized in uh, STEM education and mental development. Of course, uh, we have a lot of uh, workshop regarding uh, renewable energy, including uh, solar, wind, water, or hydro things like that, or even the salt water fuel cell. Okay, let me quickly go and show share my PowerPoint. I'm not too sure whether I can share it. Okay. Okay. Uh, the PowerPoint is up. Are you able to see my PowerPoint? Yes. 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 Uh? All right. Yes, now, sir. Yes. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Bye. Bye, yes, everyone. Sir. Okay. Now let's start. Uh, if you have any question, we will have some uh, question and answer at the end of this and uh, William just now told me I will be bombarded by all of your children without with any types of questions so it's a bit scary to me now okay so uh, any later on any questions you want to ask you can call this uh, 17008198830 all right or join all the contact over there okay now Let's get into this. Why STEM education is important, all right? Now, why is so important for children? Now, if you look at today's uh, world and especially the pandemic now, now we need scientists, all right? So to, to, to fight this COVID uh, virus, of course, uh, this is just uh, current situation. You will get over now. We will, sorry, we will get over soon as a vaccine has been developed and more vaccine coming in. 
So we hope we can uh, get back to normal next year. All right. Now, other than this uh, COVID virus, uh, we do have a lot of uh, things deal with STEM. STEM, uh, in short, we, we, we are talking about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, right? Now, why we need STEM, all right? So look at our aircon, our fan, our lights, our handphone, our TV. Now, uh, our TV is actually from very, uh, what do you call it, tube paste. We call it CRT, the big giant size at my time now until we have 4K, 8K uh, TV with LED background. And then look at our lights. We have uh, frozen light until now. We are almost using the LED light. These are the technology development. All right. So why is important for kids? So kids is actually need to learn, uh, learn science learn science knowledge, all right? Science is the one who actually will improve ourselves and improve our uh, country as well as our economic and to improve our life, all right? So we also building a strong science foundation so that if you are really interested in science, so this is the time where you build up your STEM uh, foundation, all right? So you learn STEM, that means science, say chemist bio is one of them all right so when you have this strong you will be added like a lot of soft skill during your science for example when you're in the lab test you need to do a lot of observation analysis and uh, what you call it collaboration with your teams in the science lab so you did a project you did a science test as I see a chemist you got to really observe the change of the colors or the, the change of the smell or change of the, the, the state of the liquid or something like that all right so later also you with this time we will build a future human capital that means if you are away from your stem you are away from your uh, future career development so STEM is not just studying a science theory or science facts. So you're also studying how the STEM applies, all right? For example, we also uh, study a coding, all right? Coding is part of the STEMs, all right? Even though it's not the whole STEM, but it's still very important. Look at our handphone, look at our computer, look at all our uh, microwave or all smart TV, all with the code behind that. All right. So when you have all these STEM uh, relevant uh, knowledge and uh, applications, then you will very confident in your science subjects because throughout the STEM, you will do a lot of hands-on things like that. So then if you are really interested, you will not reject to science subjects because in any way, my advice to you, I'm a science student anyway. So science actually very interesting subject, all right? Okay. Now, uh, just a little bit of the uh, proof that why you need to learn STEMs, all right? So if you look at this statement, dalam tempo kira setahun setengah kita, Dapat melihat kesan bahawa jika didedah kepada teknologi secara santai, anak-anak boleh menguasai dengan cepat dan kemudian mendalami ilmu perkenaan seperti sistem solar. Who say this is then Abang Jo, Chief Minister of the Sarawak Wilayah. Now we call it Wilayah, right? Okay. Now, so this is the... Uh, one of very solid proof that when you have studied science, you will excel in the science. So you don't reject the science, you don't afraid of the science. All right, make friends with your science, all right? Now, this is a very real life example, is from a, a skip, SK Indan Baiduri, the student from SK Indan Baiduri, from a very unnamed school to a famous school, the student from there uh, actually learning this and from nothing until they can able to show the generate general public, all right? If you look at it, they can explain what is the uh, hydraulic is all about. 
Okay, so to the public, public means the general parents, including some maybe the expert or maybe some teachers. So in between, they learn a lot of science theory or science fact and application of it. And then they are able to explain it to the general public like parents, teachers, or maybe some engineer, we don't know. And this happened in Diamond Mall, 2018, right? So this is uh, a little bit of proof that uh, science is not difficult, okay? Now, look at types of renewable energy. Today's topic is about renewable energy. If you look at this, all right? Normally we know what we, we, we know is a wind turbine, solar and uh, hydro generator. This is uh, quite common, all right? Now, something maybe new to you all is like biomass energy, hydrogen fuel cells, which is the future development for the EV cars, electrical vehicle, and ocean wave energy. Of course, uh, sorry, of course, don't forget about salt water fuel cell. Okay, all these are able to generate the electric city for us, all right? Renewable energy is something like you can use it uh, on and on, something like sun and wind. Why? It, it is endless and it's actually reusable. And most important is actually does not cause any uh, harms to the environment, all right? Now, this is another one which is, exists in uh, Malaysia, which is seldom uh, people get knows about it. It's called OTAC, Ocean Thermal Energy Commercial Technology. Uh, the, uh, professor, uh, the, the, the doctor, lecturer, is actually Dr. Satya from uh, Pusat technology hub Lautan UTM, all right? She's now is uh, Bengala. Okay, she actually, I learned from her, is actually from, you take the uh, different temperature from the sea surface and 700 meter down the surface is almost zero or five degree. And then you use ammonia as a medium to convert into the, from liquid form to the uh, uh, gas form and turn the wind turbine over here wind turbine over here and then uh, to generate the uh, electricity. All right, so it's also another type of uh, renewable energy. All right, now let's go into the uh, one of the topic uh, is uh, wind energy. We used to know wind turbine and uh, wind so-called all this. So how actually does it work? How are we going to build the model so that we can know how is the relation between wind and how does it generate the electric city, right? Let's go. Okay, today we will learn about windmill or and wind turbine. Okay, learning objective to understand wind and wind energies. All right, to understand wind turbine. All right, now before we understand the windmill, you need to know something about wind itself, all right? If you look at the picture, it's quite funny, right? Okay, now, do you know why do the dentarian are floating away? They are floating away because of wind. Why they are floating away? Because they are so light, all right? Now, so then wind is actually a kinetic energy. So what is wind? Wind definitely uh, defined define as the movement of air, okay? All right, so the movement of air is caused by different air pressure in one area and the other area. All right, it, it is, if you go into it, go inside that, you will, you will see some uh, low pressure and uh, high pressure, things like that. All right, now, what causes wind to blow? That means what causes the wind to move? All right, since the earth, look at the earth, we earth we making up two things. One is the sea, the water surface, water, and the other one is land, which is the solid surface. Okay, if you look at these two form, all right, when you have sun, all right, in the morning until the evening, when the sun rises, so which surface is getting 
uh, getting hot quicker. All right, it's a solid uh, land. All right, so when the solid land get hotter, all right, the air will be going up. All right, due to the unevenly heat absorption, different surface that cause the beams formation. Now look at these pictures. The pressure different due to two situation in, in the earth. All right. Okay. If you look at uh, when you have sun, all right, when you have sun, all right, the land get heat faster, get hot faster, and then the warm air will go up. As no, as you know, the warm air will always going up. All right. Once the warm air going up, all right, and this at the same time the sea is actually uh, cooler than the land, all right? So the cold air will actually move to land because, why? Because why? After the warm air from the land moving up, it are some kind of empty or less pressure. So it have low pressure. When you have low pressure and then the, the the sea, the air surrounding uh, the sea will have a high pressure and it will move to the low pressure uh, area. All right, so you will see a circulation moving. So then it form up a wind blow, all right? Now, uh, this is something uh, a bit uh, in depth, all right? If you look at our earth, we have North Pole and South Pole, we have Equator, all right? Now, this also cause the, uh, the uneven, uh, what do you call it, that, uh, heat over here. Sun mo mo most likely here, and you will see there will be night and whatever. All right, now, this is the, uh, sorry, <laughs> it's mosquito. Okay, now uh, uneven heat of equator and the pole, warm air expands and becomes less dense and in, than cooler air, all right? Air pressure is lower here, all right? Air pressure is lower here and heat expands, all right? So it will actually circulation based on the same concept where the land get heat faster, the air moving up cause the low pressure and the sea or the water uh, area uh, get heating slower and uh, the air doesn't moving up and cause the uh, higher pressure and higher pressure will move to lower pressure. All right, so this is the uh, two picture uh, showing that uh, at, at the morning or afternoon, you can see the cold air moving from the sea level to the land level. All right, at night, because the land get uh, cold faster than the water, so the breathe, the movement of air the other way around. All right, now, uh, not too sure whether you want to see this. All right, Let's, uh, it takes about uh, two minutes. Uneven heating on the earth. Let us see how wind currents are generated on the earth. As we can see, warm air rises up and cold air comes down. That is, warm air tries to enter the cold This pressure 
Uh, okay, I see some message which is uh, couldn't hear properly. I think, yeah. All yeah, right. I can't hear clearly actually. No worries. All right, I try to skip this. All right, uh, if you need, then later on, uh, you can go into this. Uh, okay, not too sure. You can go into this website and uh, go, go into there and search for this video. All right. Okay, now let's. Okay, I just skip this. Oh, this is this one will be much more clearer to my explanation. All right. Okay, can I just uh, skip this and continue with others? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, now, wind energy. Okay, wind uh, in Malaysia, we can see, we, we, we won't see a lot of wind turbine over Malaysia. All right, uh, except I, uh, what I can see is uh, one in UPM, one in UKM, uh, I'm not too sure Unima got in uh, Sarawak. And uh, okay, this is a type of renewable, renewable energy because wind are continuous and uh, generating by low pressure and high pressure things like that. All right, so wind will be uh, forever. All right, so as long as a wind, all right, so the wind turbine will use the wind energy, which is actually from wind energy convert to the kinetic energy to turn the wind turbine. So wind turbine uh, generates uh, electricity using the wind that occur naturally, all right? Okay, don't know which factor affecting the wind power, all right? So uh, as you can see, the wind turbine over here, all right, the blades are turning as long as the wind. So what are the factors that are affecting the wind turbine? All right, so one thing is the wind speed. All right, if it's the, the wind speed are slow, all right, the wind turbine will not. Uh, Sunny, I see your message, wind speed is good one. All right, whenever the strong wind, a stronger wind, the wind turbine will turn faster. Once the wind turbine turns faster, inside there, the generator will turn faster. So it will generate more electricity, all right? Now, cold air warmer can make stronger uh, wind energy. So if uh, in the hot day, the wind will have uh, stronger. All right. Now, second uh, factor that affect is uh, this is something new, right? Okay, the swap area. This is the swap area. So that means the 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 longer the the, the turbine is, all right, the blade, all right, uh, they can capture more winds. It will turn faster. All right. Now, this is a summary where affect the wind energy so the faster the wind speed all right so the the faster the turbine will turn the density of the air all right also affected the bigger the swap area it also affected okay if you want to do something uh the first and the three one you can actually go back and make the paper turbine and if you use your fan, your table fan to blow, you can set the speed of one to three. You can see your combined turning speed, all right, by observation. Now, okay. Okay, let's look at this picture. Call it windmill. That's developed a long time ago. So wind turbine actually developed from this concept, all right? So how does the windmill works? or the wind turbine works. Wind blow on the windmill and windmill blades turns, all right? 
So what is actually happened in science, uh, in science term? All right. So when the wind blows, there will be a wind energy. All right. So wind energy, when you hit the turbine and turbine will turn, it will actually convert it to kinetic energy. If you have, if you can convert something to kinetic energy, you can turn the motor or you can turn a gear to do something. All right. In wind turbine, it will actually turn the generator and the generator will then turn the convert the kinetic energy to electric city energy. Okay. Now this is how a uh, particular of wind turbine. Now, if you look at this, all right, this wind turbine, when the wind blows the, and then the, uh, the blade will turn and it will do some pumping of water. All right. So as long as it's kinetic energy, you can do that. Okay. You can test it up to create your own model over here. If you look at this, the wind turbine turn when you receive the wind, all right, turn to kinetic energy and actually, uh, sorry, where am I? I'm not so used to this. All right. Okay. Okay. Now the gear will turn and then it do some grinding fit. All right. This is when the old time people used to ground seats or something like that. All right. Okay. Next. Okay. Now the development of wind turbine from the concept is actually from windmill to a uh, wind turbine. Now this is something, uh, some facts about wind turbine. Wind turbine is a device that convert kinetic energy from wind energy into electricity. All right. Now, uh, if you look at this, okay, rotor blade is one one six feet. All right. This is a very uh, particular wind turbine. The tower actually sixty five feet. Uh, sorry, sixty five meter, which is equivalent to two hundred twelve uh, feet. And then the total height of this wind turbine is about 100 meters. So it's very huge wind turbine. Okay. Now, this is the inside wind turbine. Now, the focus is actually here. You have a gearbox and then you have a generator over here. Let me see whether I can zoom in. Ah, see? Now, this. Over here, where my cursor is, is the generator, all right? So if you look at that, the turbine turn, it will actually connect it to the gearbox. This is the gearbox. Can you see that? Now, gearbox and then gearbox in this gearbox is actually, uh, I call it step up. That means it will... Let's say the wind turbine turns one round, the gearbox could be turned uh, 10 rounds or 100 rounds, depending on the gearbox uh, setting. All right, so then it will be like, the gearbox will then turn the motor so that it could be one ratio, one over 100, or it could be one over 300, something like that. It depends on the design of the gearbox. So that means the turbine turn one round, this uh, generator will, will turn 300 now if the ratio should be one over 300. All right, then, then the electricity will generate and the cable will be transferred to transformer and tap into the, uh, our uh, Tanaga National Grid. All right, now this is how uh, the wind turbine uh, structure and how does it work. All right, now, Oh, sorry. Now, if you look at that, you uh, uh, can see the pictures. All right. The wind turbine turns and uh, it generate the uh, electricity. It will connect, then connect to the solar plant, and the solar plant will then connect it to the telecom, but uh, not telecom, to the Naga uh, National Malaysia. All right. Now, wind turbine generates the electricity we all know, all right? Now, uh, of course, uh,
Okay. Wind blows and then the rotor blade will turn and then gearbox and then power cable. Okay, then we'll actually uh, transform all to the uh, switch yard or tap into the, we call it on grid to the uh, the Naga uh, National. Okay, so the concept is, the generator concept is over here. All right, due to time consume time, uh, you need to uh, go a little bit faster. This is where we study in, uh, I guess in lower secondary in my time, uh, now in primary, we also study over here, which is uh, you have north and south magnet and then to the coil, then you, you can generate an electricity, all right? Now, off-grid wind turbine home use, this is the small one, all right? This is the small wind turbine, it's about one meter. All right, off grid, and this is the wind turbine, and this is the water pump windmill, something like that. So this is the some of the applications uh, we can see in daily life. Pay attention to this. All right, if you can see this wind turbine also together with the uh, solar panel down there. Okay. Now the question is why normally you see both of them, the wind turbine and the solar panel, all right? Now, this system, we call it an hybrid system. That means you combine two, uh, a solar power and the wind power, all right? So, yes, I see someone answer, sometimes no, no wind, but you got have a uh, hot sun, but no wind. But during rainy day, you might have strong wind, but no sun. So then you can have uh, more electric generator despite of any conditions. Even at night, if you have wind, then the wind power will keep working. All right? Now, now it's time to know com component and parts. So we will get into building a small uh, working prototype, all right? Because we believe hands-on is the best uh, practice for children to learn some concept. We, we learn some, how does the wind turbine works and uh, how, how does the generate electricity, things like that. But on theory, so once we listen, go home, we forget about it. But uh, once we build the prototype or uh, experiment model, then we will remember for life. All right, now let's get to it. Now, uh, we use this kind of uh, parts and things like that, all right, uh, cardboard and a gearbox, a gear, and uh, of course, this will be the uh, uh, dynamo or the generator, a DC generator, and we have a small, what do you call it, LED, a small LED, all right? From here, we start to build the stem model, all right, so that uh, I'll show you the model later on. Okay, these are the building parts. This is something from our uh, workshop, which is we did it in Diamond Mall last year. All right. Okay. Now, how do we connect and build a simple uh, wind turbine? All right. So now, experiment one after the building of wind turbine. Uh, if you look at this model, okay, is this complete model, does it work over here? If the wind blow from the front, from my side to the, my computer, does it work on this? All right, so think of it, is it work? All right, if it's work, why? If it's not work, why? All right, now the, the, the question is, uh, the answer is not work, because why? You don't have a turbine, okay? Where do we build the turbine? Oh, sorry. Can I switch the, uh, one minute. Can I have two? Okay. Can you see this? These are the components. These are the motors. Okay, these are the, this, this is the uh, generator. 
All right. Now, you need to use this kind of component to build the model and use these two cardboard to uh, you cut in a specific shape and build the turbine. Okay. Now, can you see this? This yes. is yes. the turbine that is building. If you look at this, okay. When the wind is built, it is blow from here. Okay, does this turbine turn? All right. Now, if you look at here from this angle, you can see the turbine. Uh, if the wind blow from this this side, the wind blow from this side. All right. If you look at this turbine, all right, exactly ninety degree against the wind. Is this turbine will turn? All right, that's a good question with this. Go and find out. You go and observe your table fan. All right, all right, you say no. All right, so maybe you can type in a message and say why. Okay, from here, I just uh, do a little bit of explanation. If a 90 degree, all right, the plate won't turn because it's against the wind, 90 degree, it will go backwards, all right? So in order for turbine to turn, you need to turn about 30 degree, all right? 30 degree to 40 degree, that will be, we are tested over here for this model. 30 degree to 45 degree is the best uh, to, to turn the turbine, all right? So you, you should adjust the turbine instead of a 90 degree to the fan. So the, when you see this uh, air or, or the wind blowing, all right, against that, it create a push and then it will turn the wind turbine. All right, so now, when you turn the wind turbine, I just show you, okay? Now, can you see this? Over here, I'm not too sure whether, okay, let me, let me zoom a bit. I can see whether I can zoom. Oh, that's the best I can zoom. You can see over here, my finger here, you have a small uh, LED, all right? Let, I don't have a table fan over here, so let me turn this and you can, you might see whether the, uh, the light is on. All right, so this direction, you don't see any light is on. All right, so when you turn the, this direction, can you see the light is on? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this, how, okay. So you can see the, 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 the model is actually working and the LED is on. So now, what causes the LED lights on, all right? So LED lights on means you need a electricity, okay? In this case, we are, we are using the uh, DC, direct current, all right? So that means to, this, is, this model is actually to prove that we can use the wind, wind energy convert to a kinetic energy and then convert uh, using the kinetic energy to turn the generator and the generator will generate uh, DC, in this case, direct current to light the LED. So it's actually a working prototype, all right? Of course, uh, if you have more better one, this is the model, all right? So you, you have proper better wind turbine, which is your turn, all right? So this is uh, another type of uh, design of the wind turbine, all right? Of course, we do have another wind turbine I'm not managed to bring back due to the uh, full lockdown. Uh, uh, we will have a gearbox over here, a gearbox over here before the, uh, the generator, okay? 
Now, let's do it. All right. Now, spinning of the wind turbine. This is the when we are in the workshop. Uh, we need to do some testing the result. All right. Fan speed, the table back, table fan speed one, two, and three is the wind turbine spinning or something like that. Okay. Now. Uh, innovation time using the cardboard given to modify your windmill in the bind in the order to make it spin and generate electricity. Remember the first model over here? If you base this model, all right, if you put the uh, table fan speed one, two, three will return, all right, then after that you put in the turbine like the model I show, okay, now oh, how uh, will it turn or not? Yes or no? Is the LED is like okay? Now innovation time. So modify the your wind turbine, turn the uh, turn the what do you call it? The angle, all right? And see how is the reaction when you turn like thirty degree, forty five degree, and ninety degree? Is the turning speed? any changes to the turning speed is the light led light on or off you see when you're learning science you don't just learn the theory you need to understand and you need to observe you need to do experiment that's why when you are science student you will be a, a lot smarter i'm not saying the art students are not smart but you will learn a lot of like analysis logic observation problem solving, things like that, which is you do more than the art student. So because you are doing a lot of science tests, especially the chemists and the physics. All right. All right. This is the innovation time three. All right. Is there no in available? OK, this is something you need to. Uh, if there's no windy day or no electric city fan available, can we still make wind, wind mill or wind turbine spin? All right, I don't have the answer for this. All right, you might go back and think, uh, how are we going to do that? All right, so maybe you can post to stand for all and uh, give all your wow idea and with this. All right, you snapshot this one and you try to do that. Okay, now uh, develop hybrid system. This is what we call hybrid system. All right, with the uh, wind turbine and the solar. All right, two or more renewable, two or more renewable energy source used together. Okay, to increase the system efficiency and give greater balance in energy. Why we need this? Now, like just now what we see is like, Okay, during sunny day, we might not have wind. If we have a wind turbine alone, we might not get any uh, electricity generated, all right? But if we combine with solar, then the solar will generate electricity even though without wind. But in rainy day or of windy days, then you can, uh, the wind turbine can generate electricity so you get more uh, electricity uh, generated using hybrid system even if in the uh, at night you don't have uh, the sun the wind power still generate the electricity should there is a wind all right so they they now the wind turbine now they are very efficient they, they have one factor called low uh, low speed uh, turning or something like that. Okay? Okay, so these are the uh, hybrid system. Normally, the hybrid system at the moment is like uh, wind turbine and the solar panel. Okay, now you see the daily application. I'm sure you can see this all along. All right? The wind turbine, the small wind turbine uh, with the uh, solar panel. All right. Now, this, this one uh, also hybrid train, you have solar and the uh, 
okay bus rapid transit okay or the if you go in australia australia is quite uh use the solar or wind very extensively all right no conclusion wind is the movement of air yes or no okay wind energy is type of renewable energy which is and is generating electricity by using wind or airflow occur naturally all right through wind turbine all right you have to go to a wind turbine to convert or the the you need to have a generator windmill or wind turbine is a device that convert kinetic energy from the wind into electric city yes or no looks like we have a lot of question over my slide over here all right okay i see the answer is yes okay good all right yes okay sharing session normally what we did is after our our workshop or our class we do have a sharing session which is uh we can call it a discussion area or discussion time to get the student uh discuss and share their opinion ideas things like that so that we can learn together okay now is the brainstorming question pay attention to this question you might need to answer all right windmill or wind turbine converts what energy into what energy okay second question how is the energy convert conversion of wind turbine Wind energy, kinetic energy to electric city. Wind energy, kinetic energy to heat energy. Wind energy to electric city. All right, A, B, or C. All right, now Sam for all will post five questions, so you got to watch up. Okay, question number three. What are the factors that are affecting the wind power? Swap error. Area of wind turbine, wind speed, higher height of the wind turbine, air density. All right. Question four, which of the following is correct about hybrid system? Use one renewable energy source, use one non-renewable energy source, use two or more renewable energy source together, use two or more non-renewable energy source together. Now, uh, Please note that question over here not necessarily will be posed by the uh, STEM for all. So yeah, you got to watch out. You could be posed the early on related to my slide. Okay, creative time. Try to use material that you can find at your home and create your own windmill or wind turbine. Please draw your concept and explain your concept. You might use some parts of it provided. Okay, this is well uh, when we are in our workshop. This is something like homework for you to go back and do it. Okay, uh, because this is not a workshop. Actually, is uh, to get to know the uh, wind turbine and the renewable energy in the, in combination. So you can do that. You can find a motor if you can. Then. Uh, you can make one energy if you want you can share it to into the uh, stem for all fb all right so it will be much appreciate all right okay now uh if you want to join our workshop all right some advertising okay we have a uh, solar energy okay and then we also have a uh, kinetic uh body day camps and kinetic energy Okay, now the uh, if you can see, there's a number over here, 17008198380. You can call that number if you want to join us. It's all online. We, we will need to send you the material. All right. Now, so thank you, everyone. I think I'm yeah. done here. All yes. right. Yeah, you have kept your time very, very well, uh, Mr. Chen. And, oh, thank uh, you. <laughs> also, very, very lovely presentation. I think, uh, as you mentioned, uh, today's session is very much a sharing session, all right? Sharing of knowledge. You know, if you can see, uh, Mr. Chan is 
very involved in this so and he's so very passionate so he's telling you about renewable energy and how he has conducted the workshop it's very much telling you about this particular area right solar energy wind powered uh, and uh, related to how stem is also important right? uh, but later we will also be promoting some of mr chan's workshop maybe we will be doing jointly uh, two possibilities here, yeah, Mr. Chan. One is the online version, right? Yeah, right now only uh, online version. <laughs> one, one possibility. There. It's only one possibility at the moment. What? Okay, uh, let me explain a bit. Once you sign up, all right, we will have to send the material to you first. Right. And then yeah. only we yeah. you can join the class. Without material, you yeah. can't join the class. All right. Okay. Back That's very good because in the poster that was uh, shared with you by Mr. Chan, the last poster, you can see some of the kit. All right. So those kit is the one that we, Mr. Chan will send to you and then a date will be given and you can then sign up and then follow. So step by step, he has got a large team of teachers who will then teach you, will guide you to actually do this. So you do the workshop plus you get a special kit. Kit meaning, you know, to show how the assembly of the solar uh, panels or wind powered uh, wind turbines and so on, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I think we won't take too much of the time. Mr. Chan has, uh, you know, uh, devoted his precious time and uh, a lot of our students to be asking questions. I want to just number one, the questions that are posted. Uh, will be in the link that I shared here. So those who are following this, please go to that link. It will take you to a Facebook of Daman. Go to the comment section and you will see the questions there. All right. So the first 10 person who gets all the questions correct will win the prize. Right? Yes. So, not all will be exact because we changed one or two to make it simpler. Right, so that uh, you don't want to give you too much of stress, you know, thinking. Uh, Mr. Chan's standard is very, very high, so we simplified it. Like, for example, one of the questions that we changed, we asked is that uh, is wind, you know, so you just have to define what is it is it movement of earth, is it movement of trees, or is it movement of air, or is it movement? So, it's a very simple question, and I think it's quite interesting, yeah. So that is the second announcement. And the third announcement, please stay tuned. Uh, there'll be more such programs that we're organizing. Tomorrow, we have one more on the math of science. All right, so of a workshop uh, whereby you just bring some simple materials and the facilitator will teach you how you do this to create some science project at home. All right, so that is for tomorrow. I think I will pass the mic uh, here to William. Maybe William would like to say something. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. Ramesh. I just want to remind everyone uh, about, about before that. First of all, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chan, for a very good session. I just want to, to thank you for a very uh, informative session. And uh, guys, please answer the questions that were that posted there. You can go to the, the link there and uh, have your, your questions uh, posted there. Secondly, uh, for tomorrow's session, um, you all have to bring some materials. That means gather some materials from, from your home. Um, it's like uh, get an empty bottle, about 500 milliliter, get a funnel, which is a piece of paper, uh, raw rice or beans, enough to fill the bottle, then maybe a chopstick or a pencil, and uh, two books uh, of similar size. So these are articles that you can easily collect from around your house and uh, prepare for tomorrow's workshop uh, for what do you call it uh, for the 4 p.m workshop tomorrow That's, we will send out the flyer. yeah we will send out the flyer we'll afterwards and uh, we'll be posting it in facebook as well and uh, thank you very much also for for uh, daman mall we are located on the third floor of uh, Daman Mall. So when, when the MCO is over, please come and visit us and uh, spend, bring your family over to Daman Mall. 
there will be very, very, uh, hope there will be very soon. Although uh, we have extended the MCO, maybe next month, hopefully, the numbers will be much better than that. That's that's all for now from me. Thank you. Okay. All right. So with that, uh, just another uh, reminder, a big thank you first to Mr. Chan for the very exciting uh, and very enlightening presentation. I can see from the comments, uh, a lot of our followers are indeed very, very right questions that they have posted, right? So uh, they seem to be listening very carefully to what thank all of them for sharing this. And also... Richard, there is not any link in the comment. Sorry? Sorry? There is not... Sorry? Any, there is no any link in the comment on Facebook. Uh, Okay, you go to the comment. You go to the comment section. You will see the questions there. You know, in the link that we shared with you, you go to the comment. You just click on that Facebook link. You go into the comments part of it. Right? Try again. All right. And one last no. request, Mr. Chan. Uh, no. Maybe uh, if some uh, programs that you like to offer, because we're giving away 10 prizes. So maybe if you have got some complimentary workshops, uh, we can also offer that as some of the prizes. I think these kids would love a chance to do the full workshop. So uh, if you have anything to offer, do let us know. Yeah, I'll let you know later. Sure, okay. okay. All right, so that is for the, for the, for the what you call for your support to us uh, and also to Daman. They appreciate very much the fact that all our STEM partners are using this platform to keep students engaged. All right. So with okay. that, uh, shall we have a session today? William, anything else? No, that is all for today. Thank you very much again, Mr. Chan. And to all you guys out there, uh, see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Thank you very much, right. sir. Thank, right. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.